Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and today we are going to start work on the inventory system. So this is going to be split into three parts. The first part today will be picking items up off the floor. Uh, the next part will be moving the items around in the inventory slots like this. And the, the final episode will be about uh, bringing the items from the inventory to the quick slot bar. So with that being said, let's get started. So first things first, we need to add the inventory sprite and we're going to center the origin. Next up, if we open object UI, go to the create event. And this time we need some new variables. So we're going to go show inv equals false. I'm sure you can imagine what this does. It's just going to show the inventory when set to true. Now for the inventory system, I decided to settle on um, an array system. It just works the best for what we need to do. There, there are many things you can do with an inventory system. You can use like a DS list or a grid or whatever it's called. But ultimately I decided to go with this one uh, because it just works for what we need. Um, what I will say, quick disclaimer, is this, this is the first inventory system that I've actually ever made. Um, weirdly, I've never had to make one before. Uh, and yeah, so this is my first one. So this was a learning experience for me. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead and get the rest of the array side out. So there we go, there's all the array variables that we need. So an array allows um, items to share the same variable name, but with, but um, separated by like their specific value, their specific number. Okay, so we're going to have nine inventory slots, and we're going to take into account how many uh, of each item there are in that slot. So you could have 50 stacks of wood, uh, a stack of wood that contains 50, and etc. like that. And we'll also limit how many you can put in each stack. So you could have 50 in wood, and, but maybe you can only have one pickaxe in a slot. Uh, so yeah. So next up, if we go to the step event, I'm just going to add to the top here, show inventory. Uh, and so what we then have to do is, I'm just going to do it at the top, above that stuff. I'm going to say, if a keyboard, check, pressed, and then we'll go with odd, I, so if we hit the I button, we're going to get the inventory to show. So we're going to use a switch, and we'll just say um, show in, and then we'll go with uh, if case is false. So if it's false to begin with, then we'll just say show in equals true, uh, and we'll just say object Rupert state uh, equals player state dot inventory. And then break. So we haven't created this state yet, but we'll get that sorted soon. And we'll just say if showing is already true. So if case is true, then showing is false. And if it's false, I'm mean, sorry. If it's true, and we're turning it to false, then we'll just go back to the control state, and then we'll break. So now we have to go to the draw GUI. Now the problem with this is that the code is very long, so I'm going to copy and paste it in here and then I will go through the code with you. Right, so there we go. I've just copied and pasted that in here and I've I've just put it above the UI slots, as you can see. So let's just go through this. So if show inv is true, we're going to draw the inventory box. Um, and then we're going to draw all of the um, all of the items in the inventory over the um, UI the inventory UI. So as you remember, the UI, uh, not this one, but this one, is centered. So this just places it in the correct position based on that centered origin. Um, and this is just where we want it. So minus 105 is the key there. Because that, that's where, so 360 is the bottom of the screen. Oops, let's move this. I always forget to do that. So 360 is the bottom of the screen. Minus 150 puts us to about here, or something like that. And it, it just I just got that through trial and error, and it looks OK. So then the inv1 slot, if it does not equal no one, then we're going to draw inv1. Um, so object gets sprite inv, inv1, and we're going to draw it there. So 105, that's at the very center. And then minus 35, that will take us to the top row. And as you see on the X, we're minusing 35. That takes us to the center of the top left slot. Number two does the same, except it doesn't have to minus or take away. It just minuses from the Y axis, which puts us in the middle. 
for three, just plus 35, uh, so it's on the right. And yeah, hopefully this, this math makes sense there. So yeah, let's continue. So what I would like to do is in object object loot rock and object loot wood, I want to have a variable called max stack, and I'm going to make that 50. I only want to be able to carry, uh, yeah, 50 for now, and we'll, we'll change it. I don't know what the balance is going to look like yet. And we'll change the stack um, based on how many items we want to allow in a stack, obviously. Uh, so we'll just do the same in wood. Oops, that's alarm. So we'll just do the same in wood. So now if we go to the step event here, what we then have to do is we're going to say, if instance place, um, you know, it's obviously going to move outside if it's contacting another item of loot. Or we'll just say else. So if it's in its place and it's not moving, it's not, you know, colliding with anything, we'll just say if uh, mouse check button pressed is the left mouse button. And we'll just say if uh, instance position is uh, mouse x, mouse y over self. Then we're just going to run this script. Script inventory add like that. Now I'm just going to copy and paste this in object loot rock, and then we'll get to the script. So there we go. I've just put it in object loot rock as well. And now, as you can see, I've created the script inventory add. So let's first of all we're going to declare UI just to make this a little bit shorter. So we'll say object UI. Oops. We're going to declare var stored is false. Now you don't actually have to have this variable I don't think but it's, it helps me visualize what's happening so that's why I've got it here and I'm hoping I kind of thought if it helps me it might help someone else out there as well visualize what's happening. So we're going to use for i equals 0 while i is less than 10 i plus oops i plus equal 1. So straight away we're going we're going with the for loop and we're just going to say if uh, ui dot inv i is object index and I'm gonna we'll, we're gonna go through it and I'll explain it as I'm doing it but let me I'm just gonna write this first bit first so if stored is false and then we're gonna say if um if ui dot invnum of position i so this this could be anywhere between one and ten depending on which which point that it's at so when it first loops through it'll be at oops that should be i one my bad so when it when it first starts, um, I will be one, and then if this isn't true, it goes. This will then change to two, three, up until uh, nine, really. So yeah, if stored is false, and if UI num is less than the max stack, then UI dot invnum i is going to plus equal one. Stored will equal true. And then we'll just destroy the instance from the floor and we will break so we'll, we'll end the loop early so let's just let's just go through this and see what's happening so we're going to loop through our inventory slots with this as you can see and then we say if it's already in there so if one of the inventory slots already equals the object that we're collecting uh, if this object is stored which it's always going to equal false this really doesn't need to be there it was just kind of helping me sort of visualize what's happening. I'm hoping that, as I said, I'm hoping that kind of helps someone out there as well. So then we're saying, if UI invnum uh, is less than the max stack, then we will just add it. We'll just add the invnum plus equal one. So it's just adding one number to the item that you already have in your loot, in your inventory, okay? Else, so what we need to do, what we do, oh, actually, we don't need to say else. We just need to say if stored, is false. So if it's still false, after this has happened, if it's still false, like if this hasn't, none of this is triggered in here, so if it's still false, which of course it is at this point, uh, again, this doesn't really need to be here, I don't think, but you know, <laughs> it just kind of, I'm not going to say it again, it just helps me visualize what's happening. So we're going to say for i equals 1, and I thought it might help you guys, so i plus equal 1. So the same uh, system here, the same for loop, and then we're just going to say if uh, ui dot inv I is no one. So now we're looking for an empty slot. Uh, and if there is an empty slot, then we'll say ui.inv i now equals object index, which, oops, oops, my bad, object index, like that. 
So that will just mean that it will loop through all of these slots here. And the first one it finds that is no one, it will just make it equal the object that you've that you've clicked, that you've picked up. Okay. Um, so it will it will then equal the item. Um, and we'll also just say we'll also just say at UI dot num of position i plus equal one. And we'll say stored is now true. And then we'll destroy the instance from the floor. And we'll break so we finish the loop early. Now, one other thing I just wanted to add is that I don't want the uh, I don't want the quick slot and stuff to happen while we're in, in control while the inventory is showing while we're, while we're in the inventory state because the inventory is also going to deal with the quick slots as well. This is just for when the inventory isn't showing. So let's go with this. Let's just say if show inv is false, then we'll allow this. So yeah, let's just see what we have so far then. Oh, I do apologize. Um, I forgot to create the state in the room. <laughs> That's my bad. I tend to do stuff like this a lot. <laughs> my bad. So let's just go with uh, inventory. And then if we go to the player, um, let's just go to the step event. And we'll say case player state dot inventory. And we'll say scripts player state. Uh, I'll just play it inventory rather. There you go. And, break. and then what we'll do is I'm just going to create the script. We're not going to use this script for right now. This will come next next episode. So we've got uh, player inventory like that. And then we'll deal with that next episode. So yeah, as you can see, guys, uh, let's just pick the items up and see what happens. And yeah, there we go, that worked perfectly. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And in the next one, we will continue with the inventory. Catch you later, guys. Hey guys, Lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new and want more content like this. And please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.